Golden Police are now looking for a man who they say broke into a local theater causing thousands of dollars in damage. Miner's Alley Playhouse wants this photo to reach a big audience. Security cameras captured the suspect in what looks like a 1999 Broncos Super Bowl hat. Nine News reporter Noel Brennan shows us what the man allegedly did to the theater, which was already struggling during the pandemic. All the arts are hurting, but the performing arts, I think, especially. I mean, literally, the performing arts may be the last thing to open. Aside from a pandemic closing theater doors, nothing pains an artistic director more angry, violated than someone acting badly. No one was in here. Len Matteo was not impressed by a burglar's 16 minute solo act. There he goes again, see? Inside the Miner's Alley Playhouse in Golden Wednesday evening. Somebody came here specifically to rob the place. He had a flashlight and a bag and a mask and a hoodie, and he was trying to get in every door. Matteo says damage to the doors is in the thousands. And then he just put his weight against here, and he just started kicking and kicking and kicking, and he finally popped it open. He broke into the box office, took about $400 in cash, but his performance was caught on every camera. There are comic moments, you know, like when our idiot thief just looks right up into the camera. And there are tragic moments, you know, when when you realize that, you know, that stuff has been stolen from you. But one bad actor couldn't spoil the good. And first of all, the theater community, which is a big community, they came out in full force. All these people saying, hey, we're here for you. What do you need? Matteo says donations will help the nonprofit cover its insurance deductible. There's moments of hope and, and feelings of love and caring when you realize that the, that all these people come out from the community to help you. A playwright couldn't have scripted a better ending to a break in. It's a great story all the way around. You know, it's got it all. Noel Brennan, Nine News. Matteo says the Miner's Alley Playhouse changed out all their locks and the theater is getting a new alarm system. Now, despite that break in, the show went on Friday night. The theater live streamed a performance for a virtual audience.